everyone, I'm Carolyn, and I am super excited that you're here today. My buddy Red will be here soon too to help us. Speaking of Red, where is he? Red, Red, where are you? Gang, can you help me call Red? Red! Oh, there you are. What are we doing here? We've never had the stage there. This room looks different. Yeah, we decided to change the room around a little bit. I bet you're not used to it, are you, Red? No, I wasn't. I got confused because when I came in the front of the room, it was backwards. I don't like it when things change. Well, what do you mean, Red? Well, I've had some things change at my house. Oh, what's changed? Well, the biggest change is that we adopted my baby sister, Quinn. A new baby sister? That's so exciting. Yeah, that's what everyone says. But it has changed everything. Everything seems so mixed up now. She sleeps in the day and is up all night. My mom is tired all the time. My parents are so focused on the new baby. There are always gifts, but it's all for the baby. Nothing for me. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Red. That's hard. So, can we please not change anything here? I want everything to stay the same. Well, why do you want things to always stay the same, Red? It makes me feel safe. I can feel like I know what's coming next. It's comforting to know what to expect. Well, I'm sorry, Red, but we're going to have to keep the stage how it is, at least for today. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know what, Red? We're actually talking about habits today. A habit is the reason that everything looked weird when you came in. You expected the stage to be different, and it wasn't. It was this way instead. We all have habits. God made habits to help us. Because of habits, we don't have to think really hard unless something new comes along. Well, I like the habit of the stage over there. I know change can be hard. Habits are routine. Habits are patterns. Habits are a regular or settled way of doing something. And you know, it's a habit when it's hard to change it. I always thought the habits were bad. Well, some habits are bad, but some habits are good. God invented habits. He made them to help us be better followers of Jesus. As we start learning more about the habits of Jesus, we can make them habits of our own. The reason Jesus came down to earth to be with us is that he wanted every single one of us as his children. He knew that we were all lost and broken, but without him, we are hopeless. He saved us to not just sit on the sidelines, but to hop in and ride along. What are some bad habits that you can think of? Yeah, those are some bad habits. Everyone has a bad habit they need to break, at least now and then. While well, we thought of some bad habits, can you think of any good habits? One of the reasons we come to church is to learn how we can be greater followers of Jesus, to be disciples of Jesus. The best way to learn about Jesus is to look at what he did. There are five things that Jesus did a lot. You want to know what the five habits of Jesus are? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Find friends. Study scripture. Pause for prayer. Stop for solitude. And choose church. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. We're going to learn how to drive our lives. Does anyone here have their driver's license? I do. Uh, but... Has anyone here ever gotten to drive before? We are kids. We can't drive. <laughs> well, you're right. You are kids. And you can't drive a car on the road. But you can drive or control your habits, just like controlling or driving a car. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Calm down, Red. You're getting out of control. Sometimes our lives can feel out of control, and things do change, like Quinn being adopted. But Jesus has given us things we can do to follow him and to be with him. We're going to try and find those and remember those things now. Are you ready? Everybody, stand up. Let's buckle our seatbelt. And we are going to find friends, hold your steering wheel, study scripture, pause for prayer, stop for solitude, and choose church. Let's try that again. Find friends, study scripture, pause for prayer, stop for solitude, and choose church. All right? So find, study, pause, stop, choose. Find, study, pause, stop, choose. You're doing a great job driving. Jesus is the one that is our ultimate driver. He has everything under control. In fact, that's what our memory verse is all about. Jesus says, walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. Jesus is inviting us to come and be with him through this journey. Let's pray and give this morning to him. He's got it. All right, kids, rev up your engines. It's time to drive to class. See you next week.